Fifteen years ago, the vast majority of health systems were paper-based. We go into the doctor's office and there's missing information. A lot of the records when I see a new patient from the community come in scanned in as, as documents, as PDF files. So the lack of interoperability has, has significant impacts. It's very challenging. Um, I'll see a new patient and there'll be 90 pages of PDF to, to review. The state of interoperability is suboptimal at best, and that's, that's probably a pretty generous assessment. It makes it difficult for patients to, to be able to access, manage, and transfer their records effectively. The real challenge is that you're going to be missing something. I was speaking with uh, one of our patient navigators about a patient who came from another institution for a second opinion uh, with us. When she arrived, it was clear that we didn't have the key information that we needed. It was very frustrating for the patient and the physicians because our ability to give a good, informed opinion was postponed and delayed by, by that lack of information. So MCODE really addresses the issue of, of what's the critical data that's needed to effectively care for a patient and really allows us to, to establish a common language for cancer. ASCO was one of the founders of the MCODE initiative and uh, we brought together a group of uh, experts and we uh, provided the thought leadership that allowed uh, this data specification to go forward in the first place. So MITRE's role in MCODE is that, that really we're providing the, the technical expertise. We've established the first version of the standard. What we're really looking to do moving forward is to, to really solidify that standard and work with industry to get it implemented and adopted. We'll be able to transfer data for a patient across organizational boundaries. I uh, participate in clinical research and looking at the potential for MCODE to not only improve our care when we're seeing a new patient, but also in terms of screening those patients for clinical trials, determining um, next steps for patients, and I'm excited about it. Once we have interoperability, it opens the doors to new technologies, new processes that just aren't possible today. The MCODE data specification has been freely available for download by anyone since June of 2019. And right now, MCODE is being piloted at several cancer centers around the United States. We're building a, a community of health systems, health systems that are interested in being early adopters of MCODE, health systems that want to lean forward and really take take control of their data, take control of their cancer data so that they can support their patients and support research.